Good. Yeah. Hey guys, Dusty Baker of Cross Timbers Bison, and welcome back to our channel. Look at this little crew right here. Good old buddy system right here. You got Charlie, the barn cat here at the Ponderosa, and our newest member of the herd, Cora. So. I have started the working process with Cora and it has been fun. A good friend of mine, Mark, has been coming over here helping, uh, give me lots of pointers and stuff. I started a couple weeks ago. Take a look here. I right now, kind of show you my little routine on how I train her. Um, and a lot of that comes from uh, some things that I've watched her and mark mostly from him coming over and showing me uh the ropes basically and, and and how to train her so uh the very first part of this really has been me getting to know her and now brooks is not old enough obviously to work with her i bring brooks in here and let her smell of her and let her pet her and whatnot which is which is good let her get used to us and, and i know a lot of you said a lot of you have uh, commented and said that she needs somebody else. You know, they are herd animals, just like the bison. And uh, you're right. Uh, she does need somebody else. And guess who that somebody else is? It's me. It's me. It's Brooks. It's Jackie. It's Charlie the cat. And it's these bison out here. You know, that is her new family uh, for now. Uh, will we need another horse later on down the road? Will we get another horse later on down the road? Yeah, maybe so, right? When she's old enough, you know, and gets older, she needs to be dependent on us. We are her family. I don't I don't think we need another horse uh, for her to rely on and, and learn from. She needs to learn from us and our system. We are her new family now. And uh, I think that that's more important a way to do it. Um, I'm not an expert horseman. You know that. I'm a bison guy and that's what I do. Now we are bringing the horse into the system and uh, I'm gonna learn a lot of things by training her, but uh, I'm learning a lot of things. Well, she's learning a lot of things. She's just a baby and um, we are her new family now. And so we, we do like the fact that it's just her and we don't have another horse here right now. And we want her to, do, to, be, to be dependent on us as a whole. We're gonna make her the best horse that we can uh, with some help from Mark. <laughs> So um, anyways, right now, I'm gonna go ahead, see if I can get the halter on her, and then we're gonna start working her. Come on, come on, good girl. Come on, good girl. Good girl, come on, Cora. Good girl, Cora. Good job, good girl. Good girl, you did so good. Oh, yeah. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Oh, we're getting better already. We're getting better. Wow.
good girl. got lots of hair but so today we uh have to run her down the alley to get her uh to get her caught with the halter she won't let me come up to her quite yet to to catch her with the halter um so what we uh what we're doing is just kind of slowly doing things here and there today i've worked with her already two or three times before i showed you on camera but um i always walk her start out with a little walk and uh, after i get the halter on her sorry i may have horse hair in my beard but once i get the halter on her we do a little walk around uh just break it up a little bit and today she followed me and i didn't have to pull her at uh, just a little bit but she followed me around this uh small corral here and then the other thing that we got accomplished was i was able to get down actually touch her uh, foot and about her ankle area and get her to lift up her leg and once she lifted it up i let it go because she did the right thing she let me get down there she let me touch her and it was the first time that i was able to get her to lift her uh hoof up and once she gave once she once she gave me that foot i let go of it and just basically rewarded her and loved on her for doing a good job so we were able to do it on her left and her right which is awesome making little strides here and there which is fun and uh, as much as i'm learning she's learning too Like right? she's just a kid we are actually doing a lot better since day one and uh, i'm starting to kind of enjoy it because i can i can see the difference now i can see the growth that uh not only with our little bond here but um just the little things that she's doing here and there to make it better so um every time that mark comes he's going to introduce me to something new so that's the whole fun part about this and she's uh definitely making some huge strides and i uh i hope uh i can start to see it so it's finally nice to to see that and it, it hasn't it hasn't taken long so she's doing she's doing a good job so the other thing that i do is after i've worked her we go ahead and we actually feed so see that time she just followed me i didn't even have to pull her she followed me in here so um as part of the reward system i don't give her treats while i'm while i'm actually working her and handling her um so uh i know i know so what we do is um part of it is i feed her after and so she knows she gets food after so oh she agrees she's excited so i'm gonna give her some food <coughs> silky you're so loud you're so loud <coughs> i'm gonna leave her halter on just for a little bit and then i can catch it and take it off of her after i feed her let her uh let her wear her halter while i'm feeding her so okay <coughs> all right girl Oh, silky. Oh. Oh, the wild chickens. A bucket. Besides her horse rations, this is her favorite part: is the uh, alfalfa cubes. She goes for these first. There you go. Yeah. 
Good job today, Cora. Good job today, girl. Pour some in it. Let me hold you. You got your sucker? Just a little bit. Yeah, do it from this way, baby. Like this. Okay. Nice and easy. Okay. More. A little bit more. Good. Okay, let's clean up our mess. 21 days. Let's start it over. It's so big. It's so fat. Brooks and I are in the office. We've been keeping uh, the chicks in here, but they're getting too big and starting to fly out. So we're going to move them in from here into an actual brooder um, where it has like a pan underneath it and stuff like that. We're going to have to move them because there's some new chicks coming to town that are currently in the incubator and then we'll come into an office and it's just starting to get smelly in here and uh, they're getting a little bit more mobile and they were jumping out of here. So um, anyways, we got to get them out and make room for actually some fresh borns. Okay, now you just keep your hand here and make sure that she doesn't fly out. Put your hand right here because she wants to fly out. Little sucker, so quick. Okay, you guard it, okay? Just moving you. Okay, put your hand right here. You do like it. Well, that one's a barred rock, probably. It's spicy. Okay, okay, okay. Last one. All right, look at all of them. Look at them. Ready? Okay, do you want to carry them? No, 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 use the handle, right here. Okay, you got them, let's go. Can you, do you have them? Pick them up. It's heavy, they're heavy. Can you carry it? I can carry it. I'll help you. Come on, let's go. Put them right there in that cubby hole. Good. Okay, get another one. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, you don't have to yell. <laughs> okay, get another one, baby. Grab their body. There you go. Good. He's got feathers on his feet. Let me see. Oh, yeah, he's got feathers on his feet. He's not got two. It's probably from Silky. It's probably Silky. Some strange looking chicks. There you go. Hmm. Good job. Uh oh, got a flyer. You catch her? Okay. Let me hold this for you. With the miniature Betty there. Okay. Now, no, here, that one stays for down here. This one has a different top here. Right here. How about that? Just push it. No, push this in there so they can get to it. Push it. There you go. Good. All right, so. Now, uh, we can put it over here because we got to give them water. See, look, now they've got water. 
and we're gonna put their heat lamp over here. Okay. So this goes back. Goes back. Okay. Like that. So when we have more hatchings, you can put them in here, down here. Cool. It's been fun working her and uh, gaining every time and and I'm building that trust as just as much as she has been. And so it's a, it's a whole learning situation for me and, and I, I'm really uh, loving it more and more now. Something else I wanted to show you guys is I've got a camera that I have up here at the Ponderosa. I can kind of see everything and it has a, it has a, a almost like a 360 turn radius on it so I can um, look and see quite a bit of stuff. But I like to leave it on her, <laughs> Charlie. I like to leave it on her um, and the bison. And because I caught hoss and my feeders up here, I've had to let some bison in here, of course. And um, in this, what I call this front trap. Since they've been in here, she's been able to smell the bison and get up close and nose to nose with the bison. And I uh, just happened to catch some good footage of that. Take a look here. Um, so it's kind of fun. I was really anxious to see them touch nose to nose and um, she's getting used to them. This is a nice warm up for her, for her to kind of get used to these uh, bison, being able to touch nose to nose and smell them. Uh, that's what I want. Eventually, if we feel comfortable with it and everything later on down the road, it'd be nice for her to be actually out in the pasture with them. So that would, uh, we'll talk and deal with that later and uh, should be a fun process, but um, she's getting totally used to me more and more and uh, I really enjoy it. So, uh, but also Jackie, so Jackie, um, Jackie, Cora and Charlie are all buddies and uh, spend a lot of time together and I can see it on camera, of course, but um, <laughs> it's funny.
We've got eggs in the incubator with Brooks, new construction in the barn, and uh, working Cora, and uh, starting to get mentally prepared for uh, working bison coming in April, and uh, making some big adjustments there as far as the Dunbar herd goes. So, thank you guys for watching us. See y'all soon. To push her off, yeah. Games like different games like that. You can, you can, she's, she's wanting to move, stay right there.